Hi there, my name is AJ Cordero, and today we're going to be looking at the manual image control options available on the Canon XA25 camera. These manual controls are really nifty for dialing exactly the image you want to present to viewers. I have a previous video on how to set up the Canon XA25, which provides the foundation for all this new information. So if you haven't already done so, head over to the link in the description below and watch that video first. If you find this information helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel and like this video. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps me to grow the channel. So thanks in advance. These options are meant for people who have a solid foundation in photography and videography skills. If you don't know what you're doing, do not try to figure it out on a shoot. It's unprofessional to waste people's time, and it'll most likely ruin your footage, and you may not even be able to fix it. So again, if you're not fully solid on your photography and videography skills, and words like exposure, aperture, shutter speed, and ISO are seeming like a different language, it's probably a safe bet to stick to what you know, until you develop the photographic understanding that allows you to use these controls. Warnings aside, let's jump right into it. Let's start with the exposure. So you've set up the camera the way I taught you in the first video. Go ahead and turn on the camera by pushing the toggle button on the left side of the camera forward to camera. The first thing we're going to do is manually adjust the exposure. Tap the funk button on the top left side of the screen. Next, select rec programs, short for recording programs. In here, usually I recommend selecting P for programmed auto exposure. But as you can see, there are other modes available. If you select TV, You'll then be able to move the camera from a programmed auto exposure to a shutter priority auto exposure. That means that you'll be in charge of setting the shutter speed and the camera will figure out and set the aperture. If we flip over to AV, that allows you to set the aperture with the camera automatically setting the shutter speed. And finally, there is M for manual. In this mode, you can set the shutter speed, the aperture, and even play with the gain of the image. Gain is very similar to ISO, but it is measured differently using decibels. Use your eyes as a guide to set the correct exposure. In addition to our eyes, we also have a great tool to help us expose correctly, zebra patterns. Essentially, the camera overlays a moving zebra pattern to identify any areas in your image that may be overexposed. They almost look like ants crawling all over your screen. But don't worry, they're not ants. And also, since it's an overlay, just like the rule of thirds grid, it doesn't show up in the final recorded file when you play it back in your camera or on your computer. To activate this mode, go to the menu exposure setting inside of Rec Programs and select the 70 button. You'll see the marching ants around the area where there is a risk that you're losing detail in your image because it's overexposed. Note that just because you see the ants marching, it doesn't mean that the image is bad. White surfaces will always show that they're overexposed, so use your judgment. The other major manual control that people want with their videos is focus control. While we set up the camera to automate most of this process, some creators prefer the ability to manually dial in the focus they want. Again, like with exposure, if you don't know what you're doing, stick with the basics. First, set up and compose your video scene. Have a person, object, or subject framed in the manner you want. In this case, I have a book on a table. In regular autofocus mode, the image will try and bring the whole image into focus. But let's say I wanted to just have the book in focus with the rest of the image in the background blurred out. First, find the toggle switch on the back left side of the camera, just to the right of the camera media and off mode switch. This allows you to change the zoom ring to a focus ring. Move it to focus. Next, tap the funk button at the top of the screen. Then, scroll down to focus. In this menu, tap the MF button, short for manual focus. Next, tap the peak button. This will quickly identify the areas that are in focus to the camera by highlighting them in red. Find your subject inside of the image and tap on it. The computer should figure out pretty precisely where the focus should be. You can then finesse it by rotating the focus ring at the front to dial in the precise level of focus you want to achieve. And there you go. These two techniques coupled with white balancing will help you achieve a more professional look and a stronger composed image. Don't let your story be skipped because it doesn't look visually interesting or doesn't sound good either. Thanks for watching and I hope to catch you guys in the next one.